Hey, it's Tim. Welcome to Focus Friday. So last week we talked about the bold rush, how this was the time to make a stand and take aggressive action about building. Building your customer list, building your capabilities, building your reporting, building your customer experience. This isn't really a time to sort of wait. Now, I want you to think about the next step, the sold rush. So once you start acting boldly and you end up with a bunch of prospects, what happens next? And so I really want you to take some time and think about your onboarding process, but not how you can make it easier for you, but how can you make it clearer for your customer? And it really doesn't matter what kind of business you are. You can be an e-commerce business and effectively have an onboarding process. You can be an accountant and have an onboarding process. What often happens, especially with agencies, because there are so many things to handle and to hold on to and to manage, we tend to default to trying to make things easy for us. We want automation, we want links, we want whatever, auto filled out forms. But we are not our clients. So the sold rush is when you've got to turn yourself into a customer service, customer love, customer support machine. Does that sound inefficient? Well, it probably is. But what I really want you to know is that it's not about efficiency at the beginning. I mean, it is from a P&L perspective, but your client experience starts during the sales process. It accelerates into the contract process. And once you get into the onboarding process, if your focus is not on customer communication, happiness, and clarity, your customer is not going to have a great time. And guess what? campers, there is an empiric relationship between the happiness of a customer during onboarding and their customer lifetime value. Because if you love them and they love you right at the beginning, things work out a whole lot better than if things are rough and disjointed and quiet. So think about your client onboarding experience as your first reporting session, you were telling people what you have done, what you're going to do, how it's going to impact them, and why they should listen to you. And you want to do this graciously. You want to do it in a spirit of partnership. And you want to do it in a way that empowers your client. Now, I don't want you to jump through hoops and do things that aren't natural. And I don't want you to do extra work. But you can avoid those things if you communicate better, more clearly, more often, and more kindly. So every client relationship is terminal. They're all going to end someday. The kickoff process, the onboarding process, is fairly determinative of how far away that termination is. So think carefully about how you treat your customers once they say yes, because that's only the first sale that you've made. As a matter of fact, it's probably the easiest one, getting them to say yes to hire you. Getting them to say yes, these are our trusted partners. Well, that's a sale you need to make every day. And there is never a higher impact time than onboarding. So try to imagine your mom going through your onboarding process, or maybe your Uncle Joe. People that are not super digital, people who are afraid of what's happening next, people who want to make sure that they've made the right choice. So the sold rush, 
It's not about selling more. It's about loving those people that you've sold, treating them well so that they have a great experience and so that your termination date is far into the future. Thanks.